Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Hugo. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a VM on Azure and install Docker and an X server. Stay around. Okay guys, now what we're going to do is to go to Azure portal and try to open an account. If you don't have already an account, you can open a free account. In this case, I'm in the... I don't know why it's getting GB. It's supposed to be Ireland, so it's in this case it's 150 um, pounds for 30 days and euros it's 175 euros for 30 days or 200 dollars for 30 days uh, actually i had a problem with my account and i had to open a pay as you go account so in this case what it means a pay as you go is uh, you only going to uh, pay what you're going to use if you create. um another thing that we're going to need it's also the putty putty it's a program that allows us to ssh uh, telnet the client so in this case we're going to connect into the connect into the the server the linux linux server and we need to download this in this case i already have this is a this little program here as you can say you can you can see here we need to put the port uh, the IP address and then the, the port which is 22 this is going to be useful for the um, machine the virtual machine that we want to create okay so now another thing that I want to show you after you created the account you can go to portal and you go to this main page this main page there's a thing here is going to I don't have anything in my account at the moment this is a demo account um, uh, and uh, I don't have any any resources here so one of the resources that I'm going to create and this is important for you is to create a group resource a group resource allows us to um, aggregate all the, the resources by groups so if you want to uh, delete that specific group you can delete everything that is inside of the group of virtual machines uh, measure functions um, blobs or even um, whatever everything is it, uh, that you can create on Azure um, so let's go here the virtual machine is it's faster create the virtual machine and now as you can see here um, I have Azure subscription you actually you can name whatever you want and uh, for, for you guys who have a free account it show up a uh, free subscription so uh, in this case and this is what I was telling you which is the resource group the resource group it's important so you can uh, aggregate um, all the resources that you have in Azure uh, this is only used for building but also to to help you um, identify and building for example you can have a, a department of marketing a department of uh, IT department of and you can uh, see the costs and or in this case I'm using demo so I can aggregate everything inside of demo and then I can delete the demo resource group and everything goes in one shot so I don't need to go one by one to delete the, the resource the virtual machine name in this case I'm going to call Linux demo Uh, the size I'm going to just get here the cheapest one okay for what we're going to do this is quite enough just select and next okay uh, as you can see here on the port we have um, port uh, 22 which is the same thing that we're going to use on uh, booty next Uh, okay networking here standards I don't need that one okay 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 management monitoring okay let's cut here the boost diagnostics we don't want this this is going to cost us quite a bit for what we want it's not uh, useful uh, next next tags tags it's uh, let's say uh, uh, environment environments Jesus Christ 
environment uh, value demo. Okay, next. Okay, now it's going to create position pass very well and just hit create. So this may take a while. Download the private key. Yes, download the private key. Very well. I'm going to need this private key so I can log in to the machine. And we'll be right back. This is going to take a while. Okay guys, and now since the machine is ready, um, we can go now to... Oh, uh, by the way, one of the things that I've changed was um, I've created the username and password for the um, for this machine instead of using the SSA Edge key just to simplify the things um, otherwise it's going to be a little bit more complicated I'm going to show you how to do that when we are creating a virtual machine so we do VM and instead of using the SSH public key we're going to use password with username and password. We generate the username and password for this. Okay, so now uh, one more thing that we need to do still in the virtual machine is um, the, for us to be able to connect via uh, create a inbound uh, ports uh, via, uh, via port uh, 80 and so you can access the, the server uh, via the web, the web browser. So here we're going to copy the. Oh, sorry, I forgot to create a network port. Head end bound ports. That's 80. 80, port 80, and here port 80 as well, and create. Okay. And boom. Very well. Now. We're going to get booty. So we went to the uh, another window. Oh, and where's the port here? Okay. IP address. Okay, the port is 22. Fine and open. Okay, so we managed to connect to the machine. This a bit okay very well and what we're going to do now is username and passwords Azure user Azure user yeah and okay very well we, we are inside of the machine so first thing first what we're going to do is to starting to update the, the packages uh, one more thing it's the here on the docker uh, all the, the information is on the on the docker website um, all these commands that i'm writing down here um, also is going to be available on the description so there's no worries and let's jump into the book oh, here okay so we managed to be we are connected updated and now we're going to install the certs on this machine https certs etc do you want to continue yes please okay and I'll install the Docker. Okay. And like that. Okay. Seventy six. Okay. Now we're going to just 
check if uh, just to update everything. Let's see if everything is updated. And now we're going to start uh, installing the Docker engine. So basically, it's the main container, the main container, sorry, it's the chip that's going to take all the containers inside. Here, whoops, sorry, wrong window. Yes. Actually, I didn't uh, went through explaining how Docker works, and uh, but basically, let's imagine a, a ship container. Uh, it's Docker, and then you can build several containers, and um, you have another app which is um, an app which you can use also in Azure, which is Azure Kubernetes, which allows you to orchestrate to manage the containers and build containers, etc. Um, here we are just seeing the. The main thing we're going probably I'll create one or one or two movies um, on the on the regarding Kubernetes Azure Kubernetes. Okay, this may take a little while. So now we're going, we're going to install the engine, the NX uh, server engine. So basically, this is what's going to allow your website to, to run on. And so the image. Okay, so here we can see that we already have an image here. This is the image, an X engine. And now we're going to uh, run the engine. Okay, great. So uh, how do we know if this is running? Where it's quite simple. We just grab the IP address on the um, on Azure, and we put here on the web server, on the website. Sorry, and voila! So and it's it's uh, installed now. Um, probably in the I'll, I'll I'll going to I'm going to create also a website and how you can deploy the website in this. Um, Guinix, the um, B. Check out my 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 future videos uh, also, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and and put a, a like. Uh, that will help me. Um, and thank you guys and see you around. Cheers.